and the game just started. No like, idea who or... I'm playing against, uh, but we're late joining a tournament and having some fun with it. E5. Well, we want excitement for sure. Knight F3. Uh, the move that the engine gives here is Knight to C6. Okay. D3. I'm expecting Bishop G4. H6. So it doesn't look very good. Oh, okay. H6 means we're playing against some low rated player. Incredible technique. That's what Bishop it means, folks. On E7. Castles. Except, guess what? Okay, let's Knight get my chat F6. window popped out. There may be some so tricks I can left. Read that more clearly. Knight D5. So, Bishop to D7 does seem like a solid move here. Okay, this is just so no mating let's idea. plunk the knight down over here ish. Right, stuff. So castles on the board. All right, and I need more pieces. Here's a piece. I'm not even going to bother counting the rest. I'm not sure this is the right way to go, but it looks fun. Rook to E8. Uh, let's take one of these. And now, so we're helpless. I'm not sure I fully understand what's going on over here, but we're going to roll That's with it. Problem. Pretend like we do. Queen to G4. So, if this right. pawn weren't here, I'd have a nice attack. Um, I think it's going to be quite tricky for him, of course. But... Things being what they are, that's not the situation. F4. So the engine just saying, "Kill it, kill it." I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Well, now let's just keep exchanging. Um, check. Oh boy. Excuse you. All right. Well, let's give up only an exchange here. Check. This could have gone These better. Guys are physically fit for a reason. The moment. All right. Let's run. This. Run, run, run. Um, and see if I can just start plunking some pawns down and over this way. I think my attack is much too this slow. Move threatens just about nothing, right? I should actually turn off to meet Lee Chess. It, uh, in this case, is distracting from my own commentary. All right. So let's dominate the light squares, which of course means knight e5 is going to happen, but um, not sure what else to do here. Um, actually, I'm threatening pawn h7. Let's give this a whirl, see where we end up. So the point is if king takes g7, I could play my knight on h5, and if we take this way... Oh, he's got bishop g6. So this is like failing every possible way, but um, somehow I still have an attack going. So let's try to make the most of it. Okay. Rook g1, or rook e1 is pretty strong too. Um, well, I've seen better. We'll put it that way. I've got to sack my rook and go on an all-out attack here. Defense is no longer an option. <laughs> oh boy. I think I've really goofed. Um, there are no words for how badly I have goofed this up. That's awesome. Wait, so I'm threatening queen f5, knight h5, and dropping stuff on the 7th. Um, not sure what Black's going to do to defend against all of these ideas. I just saw, like, if I exchange rooks, I made it, so we're going to play the other move. Um, I've been playing with more confidence here than I usually play when I play Crazy House, but usually I don't go on this ridiculous all-out berserk craziness um so let's not hang the queen and i had intended to drop more things but i'm out of things to drop um but that's something i can do i want to do pawn e6 or g6 pawn e6 looks strong I'm not sure why So 
I was looking at here I could do bishop g6. I should probably liquidate this. Which puts me... Well, I'm also threatening to just take on e6, but I only have a bishop and rook in hand. Um, so that could go south pretty quickly. Wait. Wait a second. Do I see an idea here? Oh, it's not mate. It is super close to mate, but I'm going to pretend this is checkmate if he takes it. Because I'm convinced that somehow it is. I refuse to believe it's not mate. Of course, you could just run away. And I have a few pieces hanging, so let's get that resolved. And now he's got mate in two. Because uh, my rook does not defend this square. Uh, he's got other stuff too, but... Oh wait, you know, he had to capture the rook to get the rook to place. There's the mate. So that's mate in three. Wait, I didn't even catch my opponent's name after the game. Usually I'm better than that. So I lost to 1600. After losing to a 2000, we are firmly in 71st place. Uh, well, that's one way to get back into playing these games. <laughs> sure. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> um, wait, I'm not playing that. We're not going to do... Um, King's Indian defense. This is crazy house chess. So, let me push my pawn. Oh, okay. Let's defend this. And now I get to pin his knight. And maybe I get to play knight e4. Depends on the circumstance, but... There's stuff going on in this position, and not all of it is negative. Alright, so we got a knight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the knight, but let's just castle and then start development. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this overconfident opening play stuff this whole going berserk notion um, might work for me for blitz um, sometimes, but doing it in crazy house is something else. I'm not yet good enough to do this kind of going berserk in crazy house. Um, wait, I want to capture and open up my F file. Yeah, maybe one day I will be good enough to actually pull this off. Wait, it's my move. Okay. Let's displace this knight. Okay, he traps my bishop. I don't necessarily care, because I'm going to play... Oh, he doesn't... I'm blind. I'm, like, super blind here. All right, so... I still want my... Um f-file opened, so I'm going to let him take my bishop. I should have placed the bishop here, on b2. That would have forked um, c3 and a1. Um, as it stands, this is still a nice threat, but not as nice as it could have been. Alright, so... Let's just keep placing pieces and see when something positive happens. We've got a pawn. Pawn could be pretty useful in this position. Otherwise I'd just take the bishop and then drop my other knight on e4 and then try to take on c3. But first, uh, the mate in one threat. Alright, so... Now we're out of 71st place. Well, that couldn't have lasted forever. Um, wait, let me check 
if this uh, chat window is going to disappear on me. Yeah, that should fix it. Oh, yeah, they're advertising the bug house test server again. That's pretty cool. It's a nice server. I should do that sometime. Oh, let's go for break again, because we can. Where is the fun in late joining a tournament and not going berserk? Okay. Here we go. It feels slightly cheap to play this way, but on the other hand, um, when your opponent castles early like this and puts their bishop on e2, that's asking you to play aggressively. So that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. It's a castle. And then just fling everything at the king's side. And I don't think he's set up to attack me. Which is um, a way for me to jinx everything, just by saying that. Oh, well, no, he had a tactic. He missed it. Um, that's okay. I can relieve him of his material. That won't be a problem. But he could have taken an F7, I think. Um, yeah, all of his things are hanging. He will get this bishop. You will be able to draw bishop a6 check, but will that one check be enough to compensate for being down two pieces? Time will tell. You could also take on f7. It's still there because the threatens to pin my queen. I might sack the queen in this case, but if I can't find anything better, uh, something better would be like a uh, knight here. Defending the e6 square, attacking the e2 square, putting some pressure on the king's side, and renewing the threat on the knight. Knight f4 seems pretty decent. Um, so let's take the queen. And then start going for mate. Oh, right. I was planning knight takes d7 initially, and then change my mind because I want my knight on f2, and then change my mind again because I don't want to lose a rook for nothing. Hey, welcome. Um, okay, this looks like I've done something poorly. Because um, he places a knight and then places his queen. This I probably could have played better. Well, that's not good for me. Um, my goodness, how do I escape this one? I have to avoid contact checks, so let's get the king out of there. So now there's no contact check. So, okay, yeah, that does appear to be the best check in this position, and I have to approach the knight. Um, but he's probably going to do queen a5 check and then rook somewhere mating me. Unless there is no rook somewhere mating me. Ah, you will late join also. Well, great. There's a chance we might get paired because I just joined a few minutes ago. Um, okay. That is a ridiculous defensive move. It's highly unusual to place a piece that takes away your only escape square as a means of defending your king. But um, that does remove all the checks in this position, so it would be difficult for my opponent to find a way to win after this move. 
Um, that's clever. Okay. Um, and now what? Uh, if I had, oh, I, I can't do knight takes f2, but I, if I had knight takes f2, I could just sack on g1. Um, so, I'm so confused how I'm going to hold this together. Here, more bishops. That's the solution to every problem, just put more bishops there. This looks super sketchy. Um, if he does knight takes d5, I'm very confused. So we'll see if that's what he does. Okay, that's not knight takes d5. Oh crap, he's got queen a5 uh, mate. That's subtle and brilliant. And there was nothing I could have done about it after he checked me there. Well played. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was exciting. Uh, I swear I'm not losing my reading points on purpose or anything. We're just um, going berserk for the fun of it. Oh, but yeah, castle and queenside is not something I do often. Um, I tend to play bug house and just capture as many pieces as I can and not worry about king safety, which does get me in a little bit of trouble in bug house. Um, in crazy house, it seems like that's far worse because an initiative is very important. All right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's try something other than knight f3 because I play knight f3 every game. Okay, back to knight f3 then. Castle, castle, bishop g5, and take a knight. Build up something, I'm not sure what. So I've got pressure on this diagonal, which is like my one positive imbalance in this position. Um... Okay. Let's defend the. Oh gosh, darn it. I walked into a one move tactic, which neither of us saw before. Whatever. Um. Alright, so bring it. I understand this subjects me some more tactics, but I think I come out okay with these. For example, I've got knight d7 here. And yeah, he could exchange twice on f3 um, if I let him. Well, I guess I'm letting him do this, because I don't know crazy house opening theory. Um, this is bad. This is extraordinarily bad. Um, Alright, so I'm defending the mate in one threat. Also stopping knight h3. Forced. Only move. I get a sense I've not played this correctly. Or accurately. But, I do have cheapos. Uh, maybe. Do I have rook g1? It looks stupid, but my whole position looks atrocious at this point, so let's not rule anything out prematurely. Normally I just go for the exchange grab, but I'm down two minutes and a boatload of pieces, so I need something more ambitious here.
Uh, ye old bug house checkmate. Very good. We're climbing our way to the top, guys. Um, and losing all the rating points along the way. Oh well. It's just rating points. It's just rating points. Wait. Um, I've got to learn some crazy house opening theory so I don't get wrecked so badly. Uh, what? What is this? This does not look right at all. Um. Oh gosh darn it, I meant to play Knight F3. This could have gone better. This could have gone so much better. What have we got here? Got a notification. Asking. Oh wow, that's a detailed question. Asking, am I aware of Google DeepMind and AlphaGo and all that? Yeah. Um, let's see. If I looked into it at all, since chess has far fewer positions than Go, what would it take to an AI, or what what improvements um, from um, what we've learned from chess AIs could, or I'm sorry, from Go AI, how would that um, apply to learning to play better chess? Interesting question. Um, Oh, wait a sec. Do I have this here? Oh man, if I just had one more, well, that wouldn't make a difference. Um. Oh, did not expect that. I see I have been bested at the defying expectations thing. Um, thankfully, there's no knight fork here. There is this check though, bishop d4, or that check. So here I have to step away. So knight f2 does win an exchange, but I get the knight on e5, so who's laughing now? But okay, so yeah, the question somebody messaged me about was um, what would it take to apply deep minds, knowledge, or just in general what people have learned from uh, the AlphaGo challenge, what would it take to apply that to chess? Um, what would it look like if we applied that same knowledge to chess? And actually some research has been done on that subject on using neural networks and machine learning um, to uh, make chess AIs perform intelligent tasks, we'll say. All right, so check and mate. Uh, we got three minutes left. There we go, back to the tournament. I should probably open up the message and reply to it in line. Um, both so we could all be talking about the same thing, and you could see how much thought was actually put into this really detailed question. But yeah, there have been chess AIs which have been created in a similar vein to how AlphaGo was created. Um, I forget which predated which, but... Um, the upshot is that basically once researchers had created the, a chess AI that learned from machine learning, um, it's, I want to say there's a difference between the chess community and the Go community. Um, Go players uh, are very collaborative. They're very, um, they have a rich tradition to draw upon um that's that is actually older than chess in terms of just 
having a strong community backing the game as opposed to just a gambling game played in the streets. Um, so, okay, let's do this. Not like we're going to be able to finish this before the tournament ends, but... Um, oh, do I play the Danish Gambit? Oh, no Danish. Here we go. All the fours. <laughs> My opponent must think I'm just completely nuts, uh, which is great. I'll just bring the pieces out, you know. Why would you play this turtle thing in the last few minutes of a tournament? I don't get it. You do understand you don't get tournament points if the game does not conclude in time, right? That's how these arenas work. You have to actually finish the game to get tournament points. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't score. That's part of why I'm playing this super aggressive nonsense. Um, other part is it's just fun to do. There we go. Trap to queen. Easy peasy. Probably don't even want the queen, because taking a g7 is so nice. Well, if I just play knight h4, um, and just go mate him, that'd be pretty cool too. Or even knight e5. There's a thought. Sorry, I've not had a position like this before, where my opponent just gives me everything I want other than finishing the game on time, which looks like is not going to happen here. Check. Okay, let me just go back. Oh, I could do pawn g7. Let's do that. That's my fault I didn't finish the sun time. Oh well. I tried. Verily, I endeavored. So king f8 gets mated in two. So yeah, king e8 is forced. But probably also gets mated pretty quickly. Um, especially if you play that way. Knight f8 would discover an attack on my queen. Um, the rook is pinned. I don't see where to continue from here, honestly. Um, I know it's a good position, I just don't see how, where to continue this. Let's just bring another piece forward. Oh, nice! Nice. That's quite the um, flip in expected outcome there. Um, Alright. Got some time to figure this out. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll take the pawn. If he doesn't want my queen, we'll see if I can keep it. He's going to take my queen, though. Something's up with my mouse, though. My mouse likes to double click sometimes, and that leads to very confusing pre moves. Um, but yeah, I'm threatening queen takes queen, which is actually queen recapturing on g8 after he does rook takes g8. If this knight moves, I have a capture on e7, but the knight's not moving. Now he can block with the queen if he so desires. Um, Oh, wait, I've got knight f7, knight g7. Doesn't matter what he does. There we go. I found it. 
All right, let's see my standing. Not first, but 15th. 15th is not bad. All right, let's check out this message we 